estimation of, of the normal distribution by method of measurement. This time we have to estimate mu and the variance. So how do we go about this? You can recall that by method of moments to estimate you write the population mean to be equal to the sample mean. Also, since we have the variance here, we also have that the population mean for the variance is equal to the sample mean. We take this first. So for the first population mean is equal to the expected value of S for the normal distribution, which is mean. Also, the sample mean is 1 all over n summation, i ranging from 1 to n xi, which is the sample mean. So, equating two of them together, for this, we have our new estimates to be equal to the sample mean for the first. We can also recall we can also recall that the variance of x is equal to the expected value of x squared minus the expected value of x all squared. It implies that if we make this the subject of formula, we have it as our population mean. That is to say, this force, the, the accepted value to be equal to the variance of x plus the expected value of x all squared. It means this is our second population mean to be equal to sample mean. We have that mu 2 to be equal to the expected value of x. We have our variance to be this plus. We also have our mean to be this. All square. So we have the population mean to be this summation plus mu square. We now come to our sample mean for the second one. We have that the sample mean is equal to. 1 all over n, summation of i ranging from 1 to n, x i squared, which is equal to the sample mean squared. So, what do we do? But this time, we will not this. What do we do? We equate this with this. So if you equate this and this, you have as u squared to be equal to 1 over n summation x i squared. You see what u is equal to x bar. That means mu squared is equal to x bar squared. So it means that the median squared plus mu is equal to sorry, plus the x bar squared is equal to 1 over the n solution x i squared. So what we are to do is just to take this 
So we take this for instance, we have the last one to be equal to summation of x i squared minus x bar squared all the way n, which is the same thing as summation of this i only from 1 to n, i only from 1 to n x i minus x bar all squared all the way down n. We have this to do this. And if we square both sides of the equation, we square both sides, we have sigma square, sorry, sigma to be equal to which is the variance. Summation of i living from 1 to n x i minus x bar squared n bar. So this will now be uh, various for the normal distribution.